Hi students, example 4.25, solve d square minus 3d minus 4, y is equal to 0. So, kudu the equation pathina TCM, second order linear differential equation. In the second order linear differential equation is the number first year the axial equation format. The axial equation is the D replace of M1 entry. The apply is the M square minus 3M minus 4 entry. Axial equation entry is the y term is equal to 0 entry. In the M M mode value. M mode value it is a quadratic equation format. Now, we have minus 4 and add minus 3. So, we have balance. Now, we have minus 4 and add minus 3. So, we have to balance 1, 4, 0. So, 1, 4, 0, 4. But, we have to add minus 4 and add minus 3. Now, we have to sign every address. So, we have to minus entry. Balance 1 into minus 4, minus 4. 1 minus 4 minus 3. So, this is balance. Then, the equation in term of m. Then, the answer is the entry of m. Then, the entry of m is m plus 1. So, one answer is positive. Plus 1. And another answer is minus 4. That is, the entry of m minus 4 equal to 0. Then, the entry of m plus 1 equal to 0. And, m minus 4 equal to 0. If you look at the answer, plus 1 is equal to minus 1. So, m is equal to minus 1 is equal to minus 1 is plus 4. If you look at the answer, you can add 1 minus 1 is equal to plus 4. Now, if you look at the second order linear differential equation, you can use the formula in three formulas. If you use the three formulas, you can use the answer to m. If you look at the answer, you can use the answer to m. One answer is minus 1 and one answer is 4. It is different. If you use this formula, a e power of m1x plus b e power of m2x. Roots are different. So, roots are different in this formula. In case, if you have m1 answer is equal to m2x plus b e power of m2x. Suppose, if you have 4, if you have 4, we apply this formula. a x plus b e power of mx in this formula. If you apply this formula, if you have m1 answer is complex root. So, if you apply this formula, if you have e power of alpha x, a cos beta x plus b sin beta x. So, in this case, if you have 1 answer root 2 is different, we use this formula. If you enter the formula, we use the complementary function. So, the formula is a e power of m1x plus b e power of m2x. Now, we have m1 and m2. This is m1 and m2. We have to apply the math. So, this is the sum of the answer. If we have m1 and m2, we have to finish the sum of the answer. If we apply the formula, we have to enter the general solution. If we enter the general solution, we have to enter the y. y is equal to a e power of m1 answer minus 1. Minus 1 and x minus x. प्लस बी ई पावर ऑफ यम टू आंसर फोर फोर इंटी एक्स फोर एक्स इन गड़े कौन सही रहा द सम्मोड आंसर थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स